Very often we get complaints about throughput, which seems to be not high enough for uh, some STM32 users. In this chapter we will show conditions affecting USB devices throughput. Uh, in this case our focus uh, will be on USB CDC device example. Then our results uh, with various scenarios and setting will be presented. And at the end of this uh, part, a uh, few tips uh, how to optimize more project uh, with STM32 uh, for reaching uh, higher uh, speed uh, can be done. Probably the most crucial fact uh, for USB devices throughput is that USB communication is driven by host. So even if device is able to respond on each host request immediately, throughput may be low due to host slow frequency of in and or out uh, packet sendings. This is very typical problem with commonly used virtual COM port application used on uh, PCs. Those applications are not expecting so high uh, throughput from the devices as they are on emulation of the obsolete uh, uh, communication devices with uh, lower speed. So the bandwidth achievable with this uh, program is usually limited. Another problem may uh, come uh, with uh, CDC endpoint standard behavior. Bandwidth is not uh, guaranteed for uh, those kind of endpoints and uh, share among all uh, devices on the root hub. So uh, you cannot expect same results with device connected uh, on directly to root hub or if you connect uh, as one of uh, multiple devices to some of hub uh, downstairs in the USB uh, bus topology. Topology of USB connection inside your PC, where your device is already connected, can be displayed using Device Manager or uh, some dedicated application, uh, as you can see on the slide. Uh, on, the, on the pictures on the slide, on the left side you can see a device connected uh, to a root hub through uh, a hub, but on the right side uh, the device is uh, connected already directly. So, using this way, uh, you can uh, explore the USB ports on your PC and uh, sh choose the one which is connected uh, most directly uh, for the usage and also try to uh, skip other connection on uh, the same root hub. If we go back to problematic uh, of USB host and uh, frequency of sending the request on the device. Uh, now is the question, how do uh, actually get the information about the tr uh, throughput and uh, where is the limitation, if it's uh, from the host or from the design. Uh, probably the simplest method uh, to verify this is using USB analyzer. So as you can see uh, on the picture, if you can observe in communication trace uh, NAX from the device, speed is uh, limited by the device uh, uh, because it's not able to answer uh, on all the requests from the host site on time and uh, need to not acknowledge uh, time to time uh, some of the requests which need to be repair, uh, repeated and that is limiting bandwidth uh, at the end. On uh, other hand, if there are no NACs in the communication, uh, device is able to all the requests from the host on time, so it's very probable that even more requests from the host side could be proceed by the device uh, in the same time, so now the bottleneck is created uh, by the host. Uh, as uh, already mentioned, uh, virtual COM port applications are not uh, so convenient uh, for throughput test uh, as uh, performance during uh, testing with such software uh, was never good on our side. Uh, we uh, mostly use uh, for this uh, test the command line ap uh, application, so the direct uh, console. 
uh, which is showing uh, better performance uh, mostly on the Linux. Uh, so here you can uh, see the commands to work with the COM port using either Windows or Linux and uh, the commands are for both directions so either in or out. To get uh, directly to the results uh, we were able to test. Uh, in our testing project uh, generated uh, by Cubemix without no additional changes in uh, li uh, libraries so both uh, driver and middleware layer uh, were not changed. For the test we used STM32F723 which already embeds uh, USB high speed phi so it's the easiest solution for native USB high speed and we use uh, U uh, CDC device application for the test. All of these tests uh, were performed on the same PC with USB 3.0 as uh, host root hub. In first test, uh, device speed in indirection, so the data are sent uh, to from the device to the host with uh, default uh, Windows uh, 10 driver and common line application uh, 4 megabytes per second were uh, measured. Uh, with application created uh, in the C-sharp and the uh, very same uh, driver on the PC side and in the microcontroller side like in previous case more than double was achieved so 8.75 megabyte uh, per second uh, so here we can see that uh, even the command line is not so efficient but uh, it's uh, still easier than uh, writing a dedicated uh, application for testing in the C sharp. Uh, using uh, libusb which already was mentioned and again the command line interface uh, 6 megabyte uh, per second uh, was reached so that's uh, uh, again uh, 15% increased uh, to the uh, measurement with the original uh, Windows 10 USB Serdatsis driver. Uh, but uh, very best results uh, were observed uh, when uh, Linux was used instead of uh, Windows 10. Here the bandwidth uh, using the command line uh, uh, commands uh, mentioned in the previous slide rise up to 12 and a half megabytes per second. So uh, as uh, was mentioned uh, previous measurement uh, uh, were done without uh, additional change in USB libraries or drivers and uh, for more experienced users we have here some tips where to focus uh, to improve the uh, driver or the middleware for uh, tuning the throughput uh, inside of the STM32 project. Uh, very f uh, first uh, uh, place where, uh, where to go is uh, the configuration of the FIFOs. So bigger the FIFO of uh, the use endpoints, the more space for the data and more time for the application to proceed. So increase the FIFO space, but the user still should be aware uh, that the setting of the FIFO in the both registers and also our libraries is in terms of words instead of the bytes, which maybe could be uh, expected. So it's important to uh, be careful to do not uh, uh, allocate the buffer outside of the FIFO or the packet buffer. Uh, second uh, thing we uh, need to focus is uh, uh, the is uh, the interrupt. So uh, as uh, the USB functionality. Uh, is completely handled by interrupts uh, inside uh, STM32 USB libraries. Uh, we should prevent other uh, 
long uh, interrupts and uh, high parity interrupts uh, to get the most uh, processing time to the application and uh, the last and uh, probably most uh, demanding uh, steps would be to improve the USB library uh, by yourself so there is um, the possibility to change the uh, um, library in the way how it's uh, handling and checking the flags uh, to re um, reach uh, exactly your application for example you can observe that uh, the, fla uh, the flag and function which is used most in your application is not the first which is checked in the interrupt so the order may be uh, changed but uh, this uh, here you should be very careful to do not uh, put there any misfunctionality any bug and uh, probably the uh, performance gain uh, which you can uh, get using these changes uh, won't be so crucial.